Good afternoon. I know it's late in the afternoon. Uh, my name is Ridgely Fuller. It's a name that's easily Ridgely. butchered, sir. Yeah, <laughs> I <you>. understand that. <laughs> and um, I, I know you've been listening, and we've been sharing a lot of information, um, a lot of very knowledgeable people. So I'm just going to summarize kind of um, what I am bringing to you. I'm also in opposition to LD 1781. I think it's, it's really betrayal of Maine taxpayers. Um, we've talked a lot about the, the operating, the profit margin of general dynamics. We know that they don't need our $60 million. We know that it's in the Forbes top 100 companies in terms of size and profit. We, we know that General Dynamics is not used as profit to reinvest in workers or equipment or communities, but instead is, has engaged in the buyback of its stock. And I think it's an important figure here that hasn't been shared before, but nearly, nearly 10 billion point three billion since 2013, or 86% of its total profit since 2013 has be, been used to buy back its um, stocks. I think we're learning more and more that this, uh, cor the stock corporate buyback scheme is um, a way to enrich uh, shareholders, uh, you know, wealthy shareholders and corporate executives. Um, and it's being, it faces more scrutiny in Congress and by the Securities and Exchange Commission. Senator Tammy Baldwin writes, and I think this is important for us as citizens of, of the world, of our country. A growing body of research suggests that the vast amount of U.S. corporations have spent to repurchase their own stock is a chief cause of the stagnation of American wages and investment and could be a potential source for the long-term national decline. I think there are serious ramifications for this. We've talked about what's happened with other tax subsidies given to General Dynamics, the $200,000 tax subsidy, and that it was not used to invest, um, and the fact that the workforce decreased during that time. Um, we know that our federal tax dollars are already paying for worker training, so we should not necessarily listen to this as a justification for a new tax subsidy. And I really appreciate the consideration that the um, 5,000 folks who are employed and have good jobs in, in Bath Ironworks, and I don't think anybody's suggesting that they be laid off, but that they do generate a lot of um, income in their communities. But there's also a lot of research that says that, um, and it's University of Massachusetts, that for every $1 that's invested in a defense contract, it only generates roughly $3 in the community. But if you invest in uh, that same dollar in education or health care or infrastructure in that community, you're actually generating $8. That, that's the value add in the spread in the community. So I think it's important for us to really think about where our money is is being invested and how we decide to do that. I know, um, again, I wanted to speak to the state of Maine and the needs of Maine in terms of health, um, education, and infrastructure, and that's been spoken about a lot. So I, I really hope that you invest in the sustainable future for all of Mainers and not into a corporate <coughs> entity. Thank you. Thank you. Any questions from the